How are you? I'm good, ma'am. Thank you. May I have you, Elizabeth? Yes, ma'am. opportunity to introduce myself. Myself is Shiva Prem Amman. I am from Andhra Pradesh. I have completed my graduation in BSA Agriculture in the year 2021. And uh, my hobbies are playing cricket and spending time with friends when I am free. And my strengths are self-motivated and also hardworking along with smart working. And my negatives are getting emotional for the small things. And recently, I have uh, done my project related to the agriculture when I, when I was a graduate. So, in that, I have done a commercial horticulture related project, and it is purely based, uh, purely based related to agriculture. That's good. More about that. Okay. So, you have done your manual testing courses, right? Yes, ma'am. Why is software testing is important? Yes, software testing, it is one of the phase in the STLC map, software development life cycle. It is important because once the application is developed by the developer, as a tester, we need to test that application. It mainly involved in finding the defects map. And also, uh, we will improve the quality of the application by, uh, by testing. And the thing is <coughs> reducing the failure when it moves to the end user, and we will save the time also. And this can be elaborated by saying an example. For example, if a developer has developed the application, uh, at the time the tester, uh, by all the testing techniques, he will test that application and he will find out the defects. Once the defect is fixed, so that we can improve the quality of the application, finally when it moves to the end user, and uh, if there is no failure, so that we can reduce the failure. If, if in case if there is uh, uh, less testing or uh, something else, when it moves to the end user, he will face the difficulties by using that application. So tester is compulsory required for reducing the defect or clearing the bugs. So that is why testing is important in the software. So testing is used to give the hundred percent quality product. And without a bug free. Yes. Without the we can we can release the software bug free. Yes, yes. So what is smoke testing? Okay. Smoke testing is one of the testing actually done by the tester. When the developer has uh, released a build, whether the build is stable or not, we use it to test by smoke testing. Smoke testing is done by the tester. Yes. And the build is stable or not, we use it to test by smoke testing. And it is also known as build verification testing. What is black box testing? Actually, black box testing is done by the tester. In black box testing, there are two, two types of testings. One is system testing, and one is uh, user acceptance uh, testing. Actually, these both testings are done by the tester only uh, at UI level, that is user interface level. In system testing, it is also again classified into both functional testing and non-functional testing. He used it to test both functionalities and non-functionalities that is related to the application. And in user acceptance uh, testing, it is done in, uh, in such an environment where user, developer, and tester interact with each other and they will test the application before releasing it to the uh, market. And it includes both alpha testing and beta testing. After completion of alpha testing only, they will move to beta testing. Can you differentiate between the QA and QC? Yes, ma'am. Actually, QA, which is nothing but quality assurance, and QC is quality control. While the process of developing the application, the QA team, they will find out the de defects. If there is any defects in the application, they will try to resolve it there only. But, uh, but uh, the QC team, once after the uh, development of product or whatever the application is came out, uh, they will test that and they will detect uh, some of the defects and they will uh, control that. Actually, uh, QA team uh, it, uh, comes under verification process, and uh, QC it actually comes under the category of validation. 
and the QA team always try to maintain the quality during the process itself. QC team, once the product is released, uh, if there is any defect, they will try to fix that and they will maintain the quality. Exactly. And what are the levels of testing? There are actually four levels of testing, ma'am. It includes unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and user acceptance, user acceptance testing. Uh, both unit testing and integration testing is done by the developer mm -hmm. at the code level, and the system testing and uh, user accept acceptance testing is done by the tester at the UI level. Can you differentiate what are the difference between this waterfall model and agile model? Why yes. waterfall model is used and why agile model is used? Yes ma'am, uh, in waterfall model we can see the SDLC process where step by step execution of the uh, processes uh, process will take place mm -hmm. and in uh, uh, agile model it is a iterative which means uh, repetitive and also it is an incremental model. In waterfall model uh, the, whatever the requirement changes required by the client cannot be done. Once the complete, once completion of the cycle only, we have to do that. But uh, in uh, agile model, it is possible to change. So whatever the requirements required by the client. Mm. And uh, waterfall model is mainly used for small projects only developing. And uh, an agile process is used for la uh, large product, large project projects. And uh, Waterfall model is uh, actually it comes out of the first generation model, mm -hmm. but agile model now in software companies most of them are using agile model for developing the application. Yes. So, like, uh, can you give some uh, example for high severity and low severity? Yes, ma'am. Uh, for example, I have to open open an application. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is my high, prior, high priority mode, mm. high severity. And my priority is by clicking the link, it, it should open. Uh, I have I clicked the link, but uh, the page is not opening and page is uh, crashed or something. Yes. So that is a high severity. Yes. You should take the action for the first time. Yes. yes. Based on the severity, the priority will priority be taken. So we have more. Uh, Priorities like, like a high. Yes, we have high priority, low priority, medium priority. Medium priorities, yes. Can you say that which is high and which is low and which is medium? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, a login page, logout uh, pages, mm -hmm. this generally comes under the high priorities. Mm -hmm. For example, if you have any spelling mistakes that are related, this comes under the low okay. priority model. Yes. yes. And another question. Why do you choose software field rather than the development field? Because in actually, development field we have more opportunity to learn, right? And neither than this you choose the software testing field. Actually, I was very interested in finding, uh, I was very interested in um, tackling the puzzles and the problems uh, when I am in the work. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, in the uh, testing field, whatever the developer, mm -hmm. Uh, when he was writing the code, he used to make some mistakes uh, related to the code, mm -hmm. which we ca ca call as defect. I, I, I am very interested in finding the defects. And uh, once the defect is uh, fixed uh, by the developer, I will be very happy that uh, whatever the defects I have found, that it is clear. So the work uh, has done. So in, in that prospect only, I, I am very interested in testing people. In the development, you have to find the quality, like I am finding the errors in that. Yes. So it is like a puzzle, no? we, we are going to detect that. Yes. So it is a challenging one. No? Challenging, yes. The once once uh, the defect we have found it, if it is fixed, and uh, we get a satisfaction mm -hmm. that, it, that it is fixed, and we are able to give the quality product to the customer also. It is more responsibility than development. Then development. Yes, there are the more responsibility. Yes. yes. Can you give some uh, example, like uh, positive and negative test cases for water bottle? Both positive and negative? Yes. Okay, ma'am. Mm. 
So whatever the specification regarding the bottle, uh, we will see in the required documents when it is given by the client. Mm. As per the specifications only, I would like to say some of the test cases. Mm. It is both positive and negative. In positive test cases, as per the specifications only, mm. first we will verify the uh, color of the bottle. Second, we will verify from which material the bottle has made. Mm. Third one is, we'll, we will verify whether the bottle is containing the lid or not. Mm. And we will verify uh, whether the bottle contains expired data or not, whether it is written on it, on it or not. Mm. Next, we will verify, uh, we will check whether the bottle uh, is uh, maintaining with the different liquids or not. Mm. It may be water or some other hot, hot uh, liquids when we pour, mm. but, uh, whether it is withstanding or not. And we will check the uh, maximum temperature of the bottle. Mm. And we will also check the minimum temperature of the bottle. These are some of the positive test cases regarding the bottle ma'am. And uh, negative one, yes. uh, we will check whether the condition, uh, bottle condition is withstanding when it is subjected to high temperature. Mm. Uh, when we cross that from the optimum level. And also, uh, we will check whether the uh, how the condition uh, how the condition of the bottle is uh, when we are subjecting the bottle to low temperature mm -hmm. as per the required level. And, uh, and we will also check the condition of the bottle when it is subjected to more pressure mm -hmm. when compared to required pressure. Yes. That is uh, the negative test cases regarding the bottle. Yeah? So we will check if the capacity also we can check. Yes, and uh, we can also check the volume, mm -hmm. how much volume of water it can hold in the body. Yes. It comes under the positive test case. Positive. Thank you. Yeah.